Hey everybody, Mike here. Really excited to be with you guys to share this new product that I got. It's the Wayne Lux JL3 Laser Engraver. Now this thing is awesome. Um, I've already done some test pieces, so I'll walk you through everything, but there's just a couple of preliminary stuff, or preliminary things that I want to show you before we get started. So they sent us the user manual, how to operate the actual machine and software. That's where these two books come in. They also sent us all the hardware to get everything put together. Uh, and then the USB drive, you can see right there, that was sent with uh, the product, with the laser engraver, uh, to load on the computer. As you can see, I've got the software loaded on the computer already. So I've already preloaded this and I chose a design. I'm just going to do the letter C in Old English. So. This is the test product that I did earlier. Uh, what we'll do now is I'll actually show you the laser itself as well with the software and show you how everything works. So here is the unit, the actual laser engraver. It came with the connection cable for the actual laser into your computer. It just connects with the standard USB drive and then the power cable. Now there is the actual laser in and of itself it's got this protective film over it to help with your eyes um, but they also sent us these green filtered glasses uh, to protect our eyes from the actual laser itself uh, overall this thing isn't that big it's real light and super compatible to get it up and moving anywhere you want to go so if you've got a project indoors or outside and like me I do a lot of woodworking so like I showed you earlier, I'm just making these little coasters. This was just a test subject with the raw wood. But they also sent us test paper that you can test the different settings on. So what we'll do next is I'll walk you through the actual software and we'll get this thing going and I'll show you it in action. So here's the actual software and if you can follow my mouse cursor here, um, you are able to open up your own file um, you can save any kind of work or um, design that you've done. You can enter just basic text, which is what I did here. I just entered the letter C. So if you wanted to do that, for instance, you can click on that and then they've got a bunch of fonts preloaded. So you can pick from one of a hundred fonts. Um, and then what's really cool about this is I will show you this right here. We're gonna line up another test piece here, and what I'm gonna show you is how cool this is um, in terms of making sure that it's, it's error free. So I've got that old C on the program, and what the laser's doing right now is it's showing me the preview area of where I want my image to be. So you can see that my coaster is a little off center, so what I wanna do is I just wanna move the coaster so that it's centered on the laser and then once I'm comfortable with my positioning of my image I'll come back here there's the preview position that's what it's doing right now so I'll hit stop and then when I'm ready to start going I'll just click the start button so now that I've got my image preloaded I've got my preview area uh, loaded um, it does recommend that the laser is about uh, five millimeters above your engraving area. So they sent us this spacer block and what you do is you just place it underneath the laser and then it's got this knob over here on the side which makes it easily adjustable. So whatever depth that you want to engrave your project on, you just want to set this on top of your project area and then space out the laser head in and of itself. So what I'm going to do now is I've got these final pieces, these coasters, these came out really nice. I put a nice beveled edge on it. So I'm going to position this onto our...
distinctive pattern it's a beautiful piece of art really um, so I'll end up finishing this put a nice stain and a nice sealer on it like an epoxy or polyurethane um, but overall super super excited to uh, get this outside and start working on some some projects so 10 out of 10 would highly recommend you should go out and get yours thanks everybody